Hi there, my name is Brandon Treese. I'm a Solutions Marketing Manager here at Anai. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the challenges associated with incorporating digital avionics interfaces into test stations used in manufacturing and depot test applications. And specifically, we're going to be talking about how to reduce the cost and risk associated with the traditional approach. So to help me with this today, I'm joined by Nathan Johnson-Williams, a digital design engineer from New Wave Design and Verification. So Nathan, welcome. Thank you. So, uh, you know, starting off the bat, you know, it's, it's interesting because incorporating a digital avionics interface into a test station is oftentimes a lot harder than your standard test instrument. So can we just start off by understanding why that is? Sure. So with uh, the modern high-speed digital avionics systems, you're unlikely to find a off-the-shelf solution that meets the protocol requirements and your test requirements. So that sets you down the path of developing your own solution. Uh, a lot of times people will start with an FPGA IP core, load it on an FPGA and build up a system around that. A common starting point is using an FPGA dev board. It's got an initial uh, low cost, but it sets you down a fairly involved development path. Even once you've selected your IP, you have to develop the FPGA infrastructure around it build the FPGA, write the host to device interface, write a software driver, write the API, and then debug everything. Yeah, and I, I understand that's, that's a big challenge because oftentimes the teams who are trying to incorporate these into their test stations don't have a lot of that expertise required. Um, and we've been working really closely together between NI and New Wave to help our customers overcome that challenge. Um, so could you start off by showing us what we're looking at here today and how that, how that can work? Sure. On the left, we have our flight hardware. This is a VPX chassis with a VPX card in it. It's a Curtis Wright single board computer coupled with a new wave high speed digital interface card. In this case, we're going to be doing ARINC 818, which is a high speed avionics video protocol. On the right, we have the NI solution. So it's an NI PXIE chassis with an NI6592 FPGA card. We use the same FPGA core in both designs. But in this case, we've integrated it using NIFPGA to make a test solution integrated directly into LabVIEW. Okay. So we have a USB webcam that's connected to the single board computer. The single board computer is taking those images and passing it on to the new wave card to be converted into A Rink 818. We run A Rink 818 through this fiber optic cable to the 6592, where the card can receive it, display it, gather information, statistics look for errors, uh, display metadata. We can also generate data on this card. So in this application, I can generate data by passing a .bmp or a folder of .bmps. We pass it to the FPGA card, and that sends it out via a rink 818 back to this flight hardware. I'm asking the flight hardware to overlay the two images and do some color shifting. After that's done, we send it back out on a rink 818 to this to display. Okay, so let me just summarize what we just, what we just saw. So you have real flight hardware that is sending data over the A Rink 818 protocol to the, uh, the NI test system. Now, this is not a A Rink 818 module, rather, it's a, a high speed serial module with a uh, A Rink 818 uh, IP core on top of it. So um, it sounds like you're still using VHDL and trying to deal with all that, but now at least you have something that's more designed for tests versus the development board approach. So what kind of value uh, is, does it, can be offered on top of that? Sure. NIFPGA provides a shortcut to taking your HDL code, your protocol, and making it run on real hardware that you can integrate into your test application. Rather than building everything from scratch, NIFPGA provides a lot of the infrastructure, the host device interface, the software driver, and the API. It saves you a lot of time rather than doing that yourself and debugging it all. Great, so when we talk about that amount of time, and I know you've mentioned to me several times that that's like upwards of 40 to 50% of the amount of time that you, you actually can save. When you translate that to the lifetime of building a test station, that could probably be man months worth of work, not to mention all the sustainability savings that you have over the life of the program. Um, but again, you still have a little bit of VHDL uh, experience required, but what if a test team doesn't have that uh, in their pool of resources? Sure. Uh, so via our partnership with NI, we're making a lot of the more popular avionics protocols, a rink 818, 10 gig Ethernet, SRIO, Fiber Channel, available pre-integrated in NIFPGA. So that's a turnkey design that loads up on the NI cards with your API and all the support VIs, and you can be in a position where you can start developing your test application within a day. That's fantastic. So 
Thank you very much for joining us to, to show this uh, solution here today. And we want to thank you for joining us as well. To learn more about this solution using ARINC 818 or other avionics protocols like SRIO, Fiber Channel, Ethernet, and more, please go to enna.com slash digital-avionics. Until then, have a great rest of your day.